Good morning, McGraw. How's it going? Was it as harsh? Because reading it, reading your, your columns and Derek Gould, it sounded much harsher than I actually think he thought it meant. What, how did it play in the room? <laughs> for, for Giancarlo to the Marlins? Yeah. It was, uh, well, it was fascinating, man, because you had like three teams, right? You had the Yankees, which was his new team, which he's clearly in love with. You had the Cardinals, which was the team that he spoke very highly of but passed over. Um, and then you had the Yan- and then you had the Marlins, which he spent the majority of his first press conference as a Yankee ripping. Uh, <laughs> and and there's some there's some lines if you go in and listen to the whole audio where, I mean he's he's basically you know criticizing management, criticizing Derek Jeter, um, you know making it clear that Derek Jeter hardly reached out to him. Um, not even after he won his MVP award, um, Derek Jeter didn't call him um, or speak to him to congratulate him. And then somebody asked, you know, what the message to the Marlins fans is, and he says, well, you know, I'm always support support them, and, you know, I really uh, hope they hang in there and keep paying attention to the team, but maybe from afar. So basically <laughs> encouraging fans not to go to games there. It was, it was quite interesting, and uh, he wasn't holding back, and he hasn't been able to talk during this whole time, so he had a lot to get off his chest, and he didn't, uh, he didn't waste any words. So what was the bottom line? He, it just, what does he mean by it wasn't a good fit with the Cardinals? Well, I think uh, I think there's a there's a few things in play. Um, he wanted more. Most importantly, he kind of wanted to go to a team that was built to win a World Series next year. Um, that really is kind of what his agent made uh, made pretty obvious. Is that he looked at the top four teams in baseball and they did a lot of research about why these teams are winning and how long they're going to be winning and how 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 long their window will be open. And he prioritized those teams for that reason. And it was the, the Yankees. The Astros, the Cubs, and the Dodgers, and he he felt like um, he wanted to go into a place that was not that he was not going to make you know a World Series contender. He wanted to go to a team that was a World Series contender already, and his reasoning for that, for his agent, was um, he's been on a losing team his whole career. He's never had a winning season. He has all these personal accolades: an MVP, Silver Sluggers, All Star. He's been a four time All Star as a 28 year old, but he's never had a he's never had a a winning season, never, ever been to a postseason. So that was kind of what he's prioritizing. He feels like he's at the peak of his career and he didn't want to waste any more time playing for a team that wasn't going to be in the postseason. So he didn't speak highly of the Cardinals. He said that he went into that meeting with a chance for them to change his mind, but he didn't obviously leave with the impression that uh, that they were at the caliber right now that these other teams were. Um, and then there's another part of this, and, and it's that, you know, I don't think anybody really realized how nasty things had gotten between Stanton and the Marlins. So there will be some who wonder. You know, Stanton never ever put the Cardinals on a list of teams he would not he would be he would accept the trade to. So there are some people who would think that he would have never ever accepted a, a deal to one of those teams in the first place, just despite the Marlins. I don't. I'm not buying that. I mean, I think if if he heard something that would have blown him away, um, then then right. he maybe would have changed his mind. But uh, but there will be people who think that. Ben, this is now the second player. You had Jason Hayward kind of say the same thing as he signed with the Cubs, and now you have Giancarlo Stanton. Uh, don't look now, but are we getting a complex? What's going on? Well, the Cardinals keep getting caught in the friend zone, and uh, you know nobody's going to rip them because they have the history and the tradition, but these younger players are not necessarily uh, you know, seeing the Cardinals as a place to go win World Series, and that's always been a selling point for the Cardinals. Um, you know, they, don't have, they don't have the beach. They don't have the big. They don't have the big city, um, unless the you know the trappings of a smaller you know place for appeal to people. Then, then they, what they could always sell was their 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 fact that they would be a contender. Now they're not the top team in the division. They're coming off a third place finish. They're coming off a second year not in the postseason, and uh, and they're and they're coming into a team that doesn't have that cornerstone player. So, if you're the kind of guy who doesn't necessarily want to be that guy, but wants to join a team that has one. Um, then it's a tough spot right now for the Cardinals. I mean, we're kind of seeing this trend, right? It, it's Kevin Durant. He didn't want to go. He didn't want to be the man himself in Oklahoma City anymore. He wanted to go join a team that would have had Steph Curry and Draymond Green right. and, uh, and and Clay Thompson. We're seeing guys who want to put a lot of thought into teams that give them the best chance to win championships. As opposed um, to the right guy, now, right. the Cardinals are not in that spot. Yeah, uh, but but I mean, there were only a few games out of the playoffs, and it isn't like there there were you know mired. It, it wasn't like they were the Marlins, right? I mean, the the Cardinals have had a legit shot to win every year for the last 15, 16 years. 
You're right. Um, you know, and, and it's kind of a, it's kind of a, I think a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a tough spot for the Cardinals because they're not going to um, not be proud of their history, and they shouldn't be. They won eleven. Nas- they won right. eleven World, World Series. Yeah. Um, but you do have to wonder if um, if is are they pitching that history to players, young players, in the best way? And I think what what Stanton what Stanton wanted to hear was how he'll win a World Series in 2018 and beyond. And right. I don't know that telling him about 2000. 11 World Series and the ones that came before it is what's going to get a player like that in the bag. So um, the Cardinals are in the spot where they can sell this tradition, but there are some questions right now based on the trend of things since the 2013 World Series appearance of, about which way this thing's moving. Mm. Ben Fredrickson, we'll read it all, stltoday.com. Thanks for checking in. Thanks for doing double duty for us. You bet, man. Talk to you soon. Ben Fredrickson, St. Louis Post Dispatch, stltoday.com. And with us on Mondays normally and uh, week uh, uh, during the week uh, at night.